Well, everybody, it's Jonathan Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County, New York. I bid you a hearty welcome. It's December 1st, 2020, and we are one month away from turning the page and kicking 2020 firmly in its ass and welcoming 2021 with open arms. Hearty, hearty, hearty open arms. Um, uh, what else can I say? Let's talk outdoor kitchens. Um, outdoor kitchen analysis. I uh, just received some pictures back from the first outdoor kitchen that we did in 2020. And I think it's an important one to discuss um, for a variety of reasons. These folks came in last November. It was Thanksgiving week, 2019. They were the first ones to uh, pound the pavement in here on a 2020 build. They were early birds and boy oh boy, did that prove to be a smart move for them considering all the crazy things that happened this year. Um, they came in in November, some back and forth about uh, what we were gonna do and then uh, order was placed I believe by the end of uh, December, at least locking in the grill components. So what did they do here? This build um, was going up to Copake Lake, uh, New York, on the New York, Massachusetts border. It's a, um, a second home for them and uh, lovely, lovely people. Um, this location is really their uh, meeting place now for their children and their grandchildren. And um, actually I think they ended up quarantining up there uh, this year as well. So um, uh, what was going to happen was that they were not doing a patio. Um, they were doing a, there was a porch or deck there, a low deck. So the Ring of Fire Outdoor Kitchen Solution Island that we build was used here. And it was a perfect solution for them because as you may or may not know, um, when you are going to put an island structure on a deck or a porch, you cannot build out of cinder block because you have to pour a concrete pad. So in a, that's why the Ring of Fire Outdoor Kitchen Solution is so flexible. It can go on a deck, it can go on a porch, or it could go on a slab, it could go on a patio. It works any which way you want. So um, I'll get to the island in a minute. Grill components was actually pretty straightforward because about six years prior, I had sold her daughter a DCS grill. And um, so the daughter basically sold her on it. So grill uh, accessory components we're talking was actually wasn't a massive list um, it was a 36 inch dcs series 7 grill underneath it we put the adr 248 dcs door and draw combo so a 36 grill 48 um, uh, component underneath it for storage and access um, don't do that too often. Usually we're symmetrical on that, but that's what they wanted. Um, there's a double side burner from DCS on this build as well. <clears throat> and uh, we have a DCS double trash system. And then for the refrigerator, we did a Marvell, uh, the old venerable MO24 RAS1, which is uh, it's pretty much been my go-to outdoor fridge for those who want an American build. You, know, you don't need to go uh, into the you know mid to high 3000s on that refrigerator you're a tick above 2000 you get an American build and a very good warranty on it um, and I have two of them actually my uh, my mother's um, uh, yard they use two of them and they work phenomenally well so um, I love selling them so that's where they were in terms of the grill components that well again there wasn't much back and forth about that the island had several different manifestations initially um, what they wanted to do was about like 20 feet. And what it was gonna be was a straightish run where the grill was, but then it was gonna arc. Okay, there was gonna be a radius build, which initially I didn't know if we could really pull that off, but um, um, we would have been able to do that. And um, what we were gonna do is we were gonna leverage her contractor, the guy who built her home, was gonna um, template it out since I didn't really have boots on the ground up um, in this place, it's a few hours away. He was gonna lay a template on the ground, measure it out, and then we were gonna fabricate the island uh, based upon that template. Well, after, again, some back and forth with the design, she decided to scrap the radius idea and then just go with the straight 90 degree and L. So it ended up being larger. Um, this island, I believe, when all said and done, was 28 feet. And what you have is massive amount of counter space. Um, you have the grill components, the refrigerator, etc., and then there's a seating area on the right-hand side. And again, initially that was going to be a high back bar, and they were going to have bar stools behind it. But then she flipped the script, and then she just said, "You know what? 
let's hollow out the um, under part of that where the radius was going to be. We're going to put seats in there, and they're not going to be bar seats. Tons of counter space so people can eat over there, and um, it was just going to work better considering where the, the porch was and so on and so forth, and actually kept the price of the island down since we didn't have to build the bar. Um, what did they use in terms of materials? Again, the island structure is an ROF outdoor kitchen solution that we delivered on site for her. Um, they used El Dorado veneer uh, for uh, the, uh, the facing, and then the countertop was Decton, which uh, we show here in the uh, Ring of Fire showroom. I like the Decton, it gives a more contemporary look. That's what she wanted, by the way. Um, the house is more rustic, and she wanted this juxtaposition between the house it's like barn house type of vibe with a modern kitchen space, outdoor kitchen space. So the Decton definitely um, nailed that. Uh, the Decton also is nice because of all the grandkids. I don't care. She has a southern exposure and um, a southern exposure on a darker countertop uh, or natural stone will turn that uh, cooking surface into a, or I should say countertop, into a cooking surface. So um, the Decton stays cool to touch even with the stone, the sun blasting it um all uh, all day so it came out beautiful i mean i've seen bits and pieces of this island uh but she finally took some really good pictures uh sent them over and um, i'm also just totally stoked for her and her husband because i mean you know i deal with a lot of people in here obviously and these are just about the nicest people you could ever meet um and it's always great to service uh really nice folks like that and again they they really the timing couldn't have been perfect i mean they missed all the pandemic nonsense um they came in in 2019 placed the order island went back and forth in the first quarter and then they we were in production before the march madness uh and i'm talking about the basketball tournament you know hit so they were enjoying this island this summer and again i, I think that they ended up quarantining um, up there with the family and got a lot of good usage out of it and they're still using it um, uh, this fall. So um, so now I'm going to tie this into what's going on now. And I did a video about this a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, when they came in in November 2019, late November, that's an early bird, okay? Because usually the outdoor kitchens, you know, they don't really start kicking in until the planning and such till you know, maybe late January, definitely February. All right, this year in 2020, totally different ball game, okay? We have multiple, multiple jobs going on right now for 2021, um, and it's just gonna pick up um, even faster. The velocity is just gonna go. So I implore you folks, and this is not a pressure sell. I don't sell, I just tell. The bottom line is, is if you are looking to do a build out in 2021, particularly in the spring, you need to contact whomever you're going to be dealing with and buying your components or you know the con whoever is going to be doing the build um there's just multiple forces working against this right now and i'm not even talking about product availability contractor availability what about the ability to, to to pull permits and things like that okay so i talked about this in another video go watch that one but i i i, I can't overstate that if you are planning on doing an outdoor space in 2021, you need to get in motion quickly. Follow the lead of these wonderful people that, you know, knocked this thing out last November, or at least started the process, and they were basking once May came around. They were basking in the sunlight and um, enjoying cocktails while the uh, around this uh, space while the world was going bananas. Folks, I'm here to help. Um, you can um, ping me at jonathanercurtos.com. Call up if you're in the Tri-State area. Call up the Ring of Fire. Come visit. All the parkways dump out about five minutes down the road from here. Very easy to get to. We are here to help. Thank you very much.